Hello, it's Who Time, and today in the post I've just received the newly released special edition Blu-ray Steelbook of The Web of Fear, where they've at last animated episode 3. Only took him eight years. Right, let's do a quick unboxing. First we'll look at the artwork inside and out, plus then we'll look at the extras contained within it, as well as compare and contrast it against the original vanilla DVD release back in 2013. After that, last but not least, I will give my thoughts on the animation of episode three. Okay, here's the Web of Fear steelbook in all its glory. With the cellophane still on, so let's get that off. Very helpfully got a nice all there for me. There we go. Da, 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 da. Ah. Okay, cellophane off. Okay, we'll take this sleeve off. We'll come back to that with the extras. And just look at the still book. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. We obviously have the London Underground, nice tunnels of the backdrop. Then we have the TARDIS in the forefront, covered in web, and the Yeti emerging from the light at the end of the tunnel with red eyes. Very creepy. And there's the the train track, so what's on the other side? Well, call that, we've got the spine, the current era logo, Jodie Whittaker era logo, you see, nice Web of Fear design from the title there. It's very in keeping with the other animation still books. And then at the back, it's a Yeti's arm with the gun, the web gun, and then the tunnels with some bits wet there. Very ominous, very creepy. Let's get inside. Whoa, and here we have on the booklet, Lee Binding's wonderful artwork for the standard DVD release. I didn't go for the DVD, as you can see, I went for the steelbook. <laughs> That's how I want to collect the animations, I just want to get them as steelbook, because I kind of feel closer to the original stories with the, what do you call them, the loose cannon reconstructions and the telesnap reconstructions, so I have those on my shelf separately and I keep the animations in these nice still books separately. It's just how I do it. So I was tempted by the DVD release, obviously with this beautiful artwork by Lee Binding, so big praise to him. But it's nice to know I've got it on the inside. So what's inside here? So I've got a bit of animation, introduction, snaps from the story, mixture of both, there Okay. Travers, Travers' daughter and stuff on the disc contents. We'll come back to that. And then all the cast, all the stories of broadcast, etc. People who did the animation, shapeshifter, thank you. And looking at the discs, again, we've got Lee Binding's wonderful artwork. And behind those, it is more of the London Underground with an ominous shadow of a Yeti. Right, let's talk extras. So if we flip this over and bring the little booklet into shot here, Let's see what we got. So obviously we've got the five existing episodes and then the animated missing episode, episode three in black and white and in color. Then we have audio commentaries on all the episodes. And if you look here, you can see which actors and production staff are on all of those commentaries. You've obviously got Fraser Hines, who's still alive and kicking. We've got Ralph Watson, who played Captain Knight. We've got Tina Packer, who played Travis's daughter and Travis. Oh, Deborah Watling, before she passed, sadly passed away. She's on here as well played Victoria of course and we've got people involved in the animation on the uh, commentaries here and Fraser Hines once again so that all makes sense well, that's nice obviously we've got the episode 3 tennis snap reconstruction we've got a photo gallery a making of documentary that's called going underground if we look here it's got Fraser Hines John Levine bracket Yeti John Levine as in Benton. Hmm, okay, I didn't know that. Derek Martin as a soldier, Tina Packers and Travers, Ralph Watson again, Captain Knight. Then they all talk about the production of this story. Very nice. It's nice to see that they have got a fair number of people on it. I haven't seen it yet. We then have the making of the animation. I've seen that actually. I'll come back to that when I talk about the animation. We've got the trailer. So the animated reconstruction of the trailer that was made in 1968. The Troughton talking directly to the audience saying this one's gonna be scary. You haven't seen that, it's on the on the uh, YouTube as well. And we've got the Missing Years documentary as well. That's mentioned here and down here. So that was originally on the 1998 VHS release. It was then given a slight update and slapped on the Lost in Time box set in 2004. But even so, that's probably still a bit out of date because there's been discovery since then, obviously. And then if we look here, there's a few things extra here that aren't mentioned on the back of the 
still work in the sleeve. The many voices of Jack Woolgar, recordings of his different voices for the intelligence, and his accent for Staff Sergeant Arnold. And then we've got scripts as well. Okay, that's all in a PDF format. Very nice. Now let's just quickly compare the extras on the new lovely steelbook here, new release, special edition of Web of Fear, against the original vanilla release from 2013. Now if you have a look at the back on both of these, it's quite evident that <laughs> That there were basically no extras on here. There was a trailer for this story coming back, and then obviously they spent all their time restoring the picture and the sound quality of the story. So there was in fact literally nothing on this. So you're getting a hell of a lot more here. Well, not all of it's even mentioned here, as we saw the two extra things that were in the booklet. That's also as extras. So yeah, if you want extras, van, value added content, value added material. This is the one to go for, of course. So looking at the animation, unlike all previous releases, BBC Studios have gone for a 3D style animation. They saw that it was only one episode missing and thought, let's push the boat out. Has it paid off? Well, uh, <laughs> I think you'll struggle to find a fan who's enamored with this animation. Looking at the positives, I enjoy the 3D nature of it, which is more in keeping with the rest of the serial. It's something different from previous animations and it is ambitious. I also think you get an overall more natural movement from the character models. It is a little bit stilted in places, but I think it's, it's kind of cool. Incredibly, they use motion capture on actors to help render the animation. Suddenly the Beeb thinks it's Marvel Studios or something. However, here comes the negatives, unfortunately. <laughs> the character models aren't very detailed. The Yeti particularly suffer in this regard, oh dear. And the human character models don't share a very good likeness to their on-screen counterparts, especially the Brigadier. That just doesn't look like Nicholas Courtney. The insufficient budget also shows in the background and in the sets, as there is a lack of detail there too. Overall, unfortunately, it does look a lot like an old PS2 game, especially in the colour version of the animated episode. The black and white version is much more forgiving, so I'd recommend watching that. Whilst I appreciate the ambition, clearly the money wasn't there to do this 3D animation justice. I'd have much preferred that the studio that did the Macro Terror animation or the one that did the Fury from the Deep animation had taken this on. So all in all, what do I think of this release? Well, ultimately, you're paying for a lot of new extras and the animated episode 3. Whilst it's Blu-ray, the surviving five episodes haven't been magically restored into HD. It's still standard definition, maybe with a slight improvement over the original DVD release. In terms of extras or van value added material, you're getting a fair bit. Obviously the original release didn't have much. It had a basic trailer for the Web of Fear. Obviously it has the episode three telesnap reconstruction, so that's not really new to this, even though it sings about it on the back here. But what it pray what it mainly goes on about on the extras and includes it goes on about the animation so obviously you've got the color and the black and white versions of it you then got the making of the animation and the web of fear trailer which is animated as well so that is ultimately the big draw is the animation and whichever way you cut it it is a bit disappointing i'm a big doctor who fanatic as you can see all around so i was always going to pick up this release just for the steelbook and artwork alone whether it's worth you picking this up and spending your hard-earned cash is very much dependent on how you feel about the animation that is the usp of this release after all so I recommend you go on to YouTube and look at the various clips that have been released by the BBC and other fans and judge off that and see how you feel. Just before we end, here is the Web of Fear steelbook looking beautiful alongside its contemporaries. The Power of the Daleks, The Faceless Ones, Fury from the Deep, Macro Terror, and I've stuck Sharda there because that's obviously an animation as well. But yeah, it fits in with the rest of the range, looking beautiful. If you want to pick this up, it is of course available at the usual outlets like Amazon, Zavi and H&B and such like. Well, thanks for watching guys and gals as always. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also go and click on that bell for notifications of new content. And if you want more, go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My Twitter handle is at whotimeuk and my Instagram is instagram.com forward slash whotimeuk. Until next time guys and gals, see you in the next one.